Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. I do hope that everybody's okay. I am going to do my Woolly Stuff Art Club page. A little bit late to the party, a little bit late to my own party. Uh, this month is chaos. And I've had a little think about what I'm going to do. I've cut myself a piece of just under four inches square watercolour paper and it's got this little splodge on it. And um, I'm going to try and use some stamps and I'm going to try and do a little bit of watercolouring. I've got some stamps that to me suggest chaos. So I've got this funky fossil one, equations, because maths is chaotic to me. I don't understand any of that. Um, we've got this other one, which is splatter. Um, yeah, so I might use that. This is what I think I'm going to use for my main bit. This is a Pretty Get Squitty, and it's called Hashed Up designed by Lynette Jasper. This was a prize. I've got this to maybe add a little bit of background in a subtle colour. And I did think about this, but I think I'm going to put that one out of the way. So, um, oh, and I've also got this one, which is a really cute little funky fossil, not funky fossil, sorry, paper artsy. It's from my favourite Jofi set. I've got some light colours. Um, just to add a little bit of background. I'm going to do my main image in black and then I'm going to do some painting with colours that don't really go with these because to me, if colours don't go, that's quite chaotic. So what to do first? I think we will get down a bit of splodgingness um, with some of these background colours just to add a little bit of texture. Oh, let's go mad and have a little tiny bit of this. There we go, that might be too much even. I'm gonna spray and do my thing that I normally do. I'm just um, splodging down to kind of pick up on the yellow that I've got there. I should have got myself a bit of clean uh, kitchen roll before I started. Um, but I'm hoping this is gonna be quite quick. Just bear with while I get another piece of kitchen roll because I don't want to contaminate my colours. There we go. That's quite, uh, uh, do you know, it's really hard to be chaotic, isn't it? I, I'm thinking from chaos comes order. So I'm just going to clean with a bit of this, just in little places, like so. And maybe we'll do a different colour now. Maybe we'll do a little bit of this pumice stone. Used to be one of my favourite colours, pumice stone. Now, I don't want to do too much because I don't want to overpower. So I think that's all right for that. don't think I'm going to use that, but I think I might use some of this. question is what colour to go for. Oh. And again, I don't want, I don't want it everywhere, but also again, I think kind of like the um, circles against the square could be quite chaotic. And I don't think I'm going to ink the whole thing up. Do you know, I've got some orange here. And I've got mustard seed. I think that was mustard seed. Let's go with a bit of this yellow. Because yellow and purple to me kind of scream clashy clashy. Now I don't mind if I don't get the whole thing and I might just go off. A little bit of chaos there. Bit of chaos there. A little bit there. See, I'm being too ordered. And I've got that acetate in my mustard seed. Let's just take you off. Then I think I'm going to come in with the main thing and I'm going to stamp it in black and I'm going to heat emboss it in clear ink because I am going to be throwing some water at it. So I'm bringing in my stamp platform, which is not chaotic, is it? It's quite ordered. Just pop you there like so. And let's get you and think where we want the main bit to be. Haven't used these. These were prizes when I won Card Maker of the Year. I do like the Pretty Get Gritty mixed media things, but I haven't used their stamps yet. Oh, 
you can tell that this is brand new because it is struggling to come off the background acetate got quite a lot of nice little things from there right which way do we want it i think we will go like that so we've got most of i should use a um embossing buddy but do you know what i don't really care because again that's chaotic isn't it <laughs> and the reason i'm using the stamp platform is that if i don't get a clear impression i can go back although again it would be quite chaotic wouldn't it if i haven't got a, a clean impression How long have we been going? Five minutes. I'm trying to keep this short, but you know me, I do like to put it on. So I hope everybody had a nice bank holiday. We were um, invited to some neighbours on um, Sunday afternoon for drinks. Um, they had a lot of friends of theirs around that we didn't know. Well, we'd met one of them before. Um, do you think I've got that all? No, I haven't, have I? Um, and um, it was a lovely afternoon, really warm. We stayed out till about, I don't know, we were one of the last ones to go. We stayed out to about half past nine. We would got there at half past two. Quite a lot of Prosesco was drunk. Um, so I'm not holding out much hope for a good weight loss. There we go. Let's see if we get a better print this time. Good. But don't. And do you know, if I don't, I don't really mind. You see, I'm missing something there. I don't know why. Never mind. That is what it is. Let's lift it off. I quite already like the mixture of the circles against the black. Um, put some embossing powder over it and you know my other bits of ink might still be wet so might get more embossing than I bargained for <laughs> just going to tap off the excess because I do want to paint over it so I don't want the whole thing to be glossy let's put this back in here yes it's kind of crept up on me has some um, the 10th of May. So obviously 10th of May is our next prompt that we pull. And I need to get a wiggle on with my hashtag PT Tag Club as well. Right, here we go. Warm it up a little bit. Sorry for the noise. Most of it let's have a little look yeah mm. not the best stamping I've done Ashley I don't know why maybe it was I should have done more to prepare the stamp yeah so I was saying about Sunday we had a lovely time uh, much Prosesco was drunk and um gone for quite a long walk which was good i'm using villainous potion let's bring in my uh water brush actually um and i didn't feel too bad yesterday morning to be honest I could have got up a bit earlier i'm just going to paint and in fact actually i'm not going to use this water brush because it flows too much i'm just going to get a brush a brush, a brush, a brush. We'll do this one. No, we'll do this one. Um, and then, yeah, it was difficult because we're trying to get stuff done in the garden. Mr. Paper and Twine has bought some composite decking and um, is preparing our old patio. 
where our patio is at the corner of our house it doesn't get a lot of light so it tends to be quite dank quite dark um just painting over all these lines um but we've had this we've had this plan to do this for years and not had the money but we've bitten the bullet this year and we have ordered the decking and it arrived about a month ago but the weather's just been that awful that we've not been able to crack on with it so sunday during the morning he spent a lot of time um prepping and the patio is actually looking really nice for some reason we get a lot of weeds growing up um through it yeah lots of grass but um we've got some really heavy duty mesh i'm using this abandoned coral because uh, i didn't think it went with everything but actually it does doesn't it see from chaos comes order and this is a bit like um worn lipstick actually there we go um let's have a little bit of you here as well no rhyme no reason to this and you can see that i'm not keeping in the lines terribly well i went out of the line there I think we'll come in with a bit more purple. And then yesterday, I didn't do a fat lot. Um, well, that's that's not entirely true. Um, we've had some scaffolding up at the back of the house. Because um, we wanted to clear the gutter. So we took that down. I'm going to mix this, see what I'll get. We took, well, I say we, my husband and my son took that down yesterday and returned it back to the factory. Look, see, there's chaos going outside the line. And I don't know whether I like that colour. I'm going to leave that there like that. Wipe that. We'll give them a brush a wash. And I'm going to come in with some of this text over the top. Question is, what colour? Do you know, I might come in with a bit of orange. Go mad. Or shall I come in with a bit more yellow? Urgh, off you come. I haven't used this one very often, if at all, actually. Right. What are we going to do? Should we do... Which is the right way up? Let's have a look at the picture. That's the right way up. Yes, so I want some text going to do oh do you know i'm going to do purple and then layer upon layer dump 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 and that i think is me done next time you see me I don't know what I'll be doing, <laughs> but I'm quite happy with that. I might put the word chaos on it somewhere. You never know. Does it look chaotic to you? Comment down below.